And now to discuss the specific climate challenges faced by the people of Malaysia, please welcome the Chairman of the Human Rights Commission of Malaysia, Tan Sri Razali Ismail. Tan Sri Razali, you've had a long diplomatic career. You were ambassador to Poland, High Commissioner to India, and until a few years ago, Malaysia's permanent representative on the, to the United Nations. I'm curious to know, at what point in your career did you turn your attention towards the environment and why? Uh, actually, I have always been environmentally conscious because I came from a place that was neither town nor village. In front of our house was the main road of the town. Behind our house was the paddy fields. So, uh, and I was always aware as I grew up of the changing uh, turns of nature every season and all that. So environment has always been part of me. Very good. You've seen the changes in the environment all over the world, but I'm curious to know a bit more about the direct impact Malaysia is experiencing from the climate crisis and specifically how deforestation might be contributing towards it. Well, um, we have done things we sh shouldn't be proud of um, 20, 30 years ago. But now there is a, a big realization that we cannot anymore do this kind of unsustainable industries. For example, the extractive industries that dig into the ground or cutting trees, which is, uh, which is being discouraged. And uh, the overall society in Malaysia, particularly the young, are very much against these habits. We are turning into more sustainable industries uh, we could do, particularly in the energy sector. You spoke about- But I, I'm not, I, I've got to admit, the deforestation is still going on. You've spoken a lot about the link between poverty and environmental degradation. What do you see as the opportunities for both improving living conditions while at the same time addressing the climate? Well, sustainability and environmental consciousness is inter in inextricably linked to the need to develop the country. Once upon a time, the, this was uh, environmental consciousness was, state, was seen as something quite rarefied and different. And now it is accepted that if you are sustainable, you are able to drive development projects. This is what is happening now in Malaysia, the combination of both. And, uh, and, and we ca our commitment to the Paris SDGs is related to that, that we will now uh, co conduct industries uh, and policies in such a way that they will all be sustainable. What would you cite as the single biggest challenge Malaysia is facing right now with respect to reducing emissions and how do you overcome that? Well, actually, uh, the Malaysian society must wake up and be aware there are opportunities of doing this quite outside their door. We have a lot of uh, uh, household waste in the city of Kuala Lumpur itself. At least there are 50,000 tons of municipal and household waste every day. And this, all these years have been dumped in unsustainable land sites, landfills that are completely unsustainable. Now, this uh, waste can be converted into energy. And in fact, uh, it is already happening. Uh, the internalization of this waste to produce energy is being done, uh, perhaps not as big as it should be, but it is being done now in Malaysia. And we are also putting up solar panels over these areas that, that companies have covered uh, this uh, unsustainable waste have been closed, and we have solar panels over these places. And uh, you have uh, very beautiful sites now in Malaysia where you have solar panels in areas that were once uh, dump sites. And these areas were in the estuaries of rivers and all that. And now uh, we are so seeing evidence of regrowth of, um, of uh, mangrove trees over these areas. That certainly does an inspiring. You once stated that we can't be cheap if we want to see a cleaner environment. What did you mean by that? Well, actually, I was thinking in terms of 
uh, mitigation and, and uh, adapting to conditions as as climate change increases. I mean, climate change is not going to stop. It's going to be with us for a long time. So we have to think in terms of dealing with it now and how to deal it in the future. This requires uh, looking at things quite differently the way than the way we have been doing it before. And that series of adaptation may cost us money.